Dusty Springfield and it's called The Look of Love. So I'm just going to cleanse the energy. Yeah, so let's get into your reading. I'd like to ask God for messages for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and North Node. messages do you have for Pisces please? What messages do you have for Pisces please? What messages please? So you have the Ace of Wands. I just heard frequency and I'm seeing some wishes coming in for you or maybe that's what you've been doing. You've been dreaming, hoping and wishing for something. King of Swords, Ten of Wands, Two of Wands, the Death card in reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like you've been waiting patiently, growing in your life in some kind of area, and I feel like it's your, it's your, your level, you're growing in a conscious way, you're growing and elevating, that's what I'm seeing here, but at the same time you're waiting for something to come towards you, something that you've wished for, something you're praying for, hoping and dreaming for, I feel like you cannot stop dreaming about this, so it could be, you know, wish fulfillment, some kind of dream that you've got, that you've always had. You're waiting and you're growing this dream. Yeah, so I've got the King of Swords and I feel like you're a boss kind of figure. You're in charge, that's what I'm seeing here. I feel like you're trying to control something and it could be this dream that you've asked for. Maybe it's you trying to control your level in life. You're constantly trying to elevate yourself. Maybe you're waiting to ascend and you're getting quite impatient. But I feel like you are ascending. That's what I'm seeing here. I can see butterflies here. So I feel like you're on a very high level right now. You're in boss position. That's what I'm hearing, boss mode. I also feel like, yeah, because you've had to wait for so long for, you know, for this growth, you feel like you're carrying a lot of heavy burdens, or maybe it's just that 
you haven't let go of some burdens yet, that's what I'm picking up. You're still holding on to a lot of things that do not serve your highest good. And that's the reason why you haven't ascended yet, that's what I'm picking up. You've been working really hard, that's what I see here, on your inner self. Because you want to elevate, you want to grow, but you're still holding on to people places and things that are holding you back and it's time to let go with the two of ones i feel like you know holding on to these people is making you ungrounded you're not grounded you're not connected properly to god yeah i feel like you have so much going on you could be online you could be you know selling things online that's what kind of boss you are you're in charge of your own business that's what i see here and i feel like that's all your focus is right now you're just hard working focused on your you know your future so you're not in the present you're not grounded you're not connected to god properly so you know there might be a need to you know, meditate. I also see root chakra blockages. So I feel like that's where you should start at your roots. You know, looking at any traumas you've had over the years, you know, eating red fruits and vegetables could help you unblock this chakra. I also feel like You've been waiting a long time for something to happen, for some kind of change. And I feel like it's just the fact that, like I said, you've been holding on to something, people, places or things for so long. I feel like it could be a death in your family. Yeah, I'm hearing a child. I'm not sure if that's you know, everyone, but I'm hearing a child, the death of a child. Yeah, you're still holding on to this child. Yeah, you're still holding on for dear life, my guys just said, to this child who's passed away. That's what I'm hearing here. And it's time to try and, you know, to let go of this person. You know, you're holding so many you know, memories, so many sad, you grieving, that's what I'm hearing, a lot of grief you've been going through, I feel like this has been, you know, probably the past 12 years, you've been holding on to the death of someone, you know, your child, someone close to you, or a child in your family, I'm hearing that too, this could be a sibling, this could be your own child, that's what I'm picking up. I feel like you're holding on to this person because you, you know, you're scared to let go, you're scared to let go of their memories, you're scared to let go of them, that's what I'm hearing here. I feel like, yeah, this is causing some blockages in your life, in your business too. I feel like your mind is elsewhere, so you're not grounded, you're not, you know, you're not receiving your wishes or your prayers at the moment, because God's trying to, you know, to show you that it's time to let go and time to move on, that's what I'm hearing too. I feel like all you do or all you've done since this child passed away is work build your business just work 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 non-stop working so you could be a workaholic i'm hearing that too you just cannot you know focus on anything else but your job your career i also feel like you have started to work on your chakras and you know you've got a way to go before you do ascend but you have you know you have stepped up a level that's what I'm picking up to. Here we've got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Like I said, you're holding on tightly to a lot of things, including this child's death. And I feel like, you know, it's blocking your abundance. It's blocking your, your freedom. 
and it's blocking any you know source energy from coming into your life to help you because you you still grieve and you're grief stricken and you're holding a lot of trauma inside of yourself and it's time to work on you it's time to you know cleanse your energy you could even have some reiki healing done this would help you to clear you know any blockages and to put you on your life path that's what i'm hearing this could really help you throw you into you know the success that you deserve to see i also feel like yeah that's when your career is going to skyrocket because i see a lot of people coming towards you for advice for help spiritually i'm hearing that too so you'll be you know you'll be working in the spiritual realms too when you do let go that's what i'm hearing when you do ascend i see a three here i feel like you're going to ascend to an ascended master when you start to let go of this grief that you're holding inside of your chakras it has caused so many blockages which could eventually lead to your illness that's what i'm hearing yeah so we've got the high priestess in reverse this is blocking your you know your abilities to this death that's what i'm hearing you're definitely holding on tight to someone in the spiritual realm so i feel like yeah you're blocking them from resting in peace too that's what i'm hearing you're not allowing this person to be able to settle wherever they are whichever realm they're in that's what i'm hearing you're not listening to your intuition you're not listening to your guides so you could have a block crown chakra too that's what i'm hearing I do see a lot of block chakras, but it all starts from the first chakra, your root chakra. Yeah, I feel like you don't really know what happened to this child and that's the reason why you're holding on. This could have been a sudden death and you haven't received the answers that you need as to why this person died. I'm hearing that too. There's some sort of truth that needs to be spoken or there's some sort of truth behind this child's death and that's why you're holding on because you don't know the truth. I also feel like you don't know the truth about someone who you know someone who's interested in you someone who's coming towards you someone who has found you yeah you haven't heard this person they're sending you messages spiritually sending you songs you know they could be trying to talk to you telepathically but you cannot hear them this person feels like they've found you this person has been working on their sacral chakra and their solar plexus chakra and they're trying to communicate with you, that's what I'm hearing. I feel like this is a love interest. It's someone who wants to build a family with you, someone who wants to build a home, you know. This is someone who wants to buy you flowers daily, I'm hearing. Someone who wants to grow old and grey with you and love you forever. This person has found you, that's what I'm hearing. So they could have found you online. So you could be someone who posts online a lot. I see a lot of online, you know, videos being posted, a lot of posts. That's what I'm picking up here. I feel like you are starting to change and that's why you're starting to ascend too. I see a lot of people coming towards you. This is for work I'm hearing. 
but this person could be one of those people that have found you online, that's what I'm picking up. They're telepathically trying to communicate with you, trying to show you who they are, trying to send songs, synchronicities. I'm hearing feathers, you might see a lot of feathers. You might see a lot of coins scattered around, you know, when you're walking along. These are all messages, these are all signs from, you know, this person. They're trying to lead you to them. So this person's calling you in, that's what I'm hearing. They're just waiting for this change to happen in you, for you to notice them. So with the hangman, you could be in some kind of court case about this child who died and that's what you, it's still so strong in your memory. Now I feel like you're definitely going through some kind of court case because you don't know what happened to this child. And I'm also hearing post-mortem. So maybe this child's being re-examined as to the cause of death and this is keeping you kind of stuck and bound to this situation after all this time i'm hearing that too i still see a lot of blockages so you know you have to release something that's what i'm picking up you have to release the pain yeah, because you're really heartbroken, your heart's heavy, you're holding a lot inside of yourself, a, an awful lot of pain from what happened to you, from, from what happened to this child, that's what I'm hearing. So, you know, there's a need to do some heart chakra work to open your heart chakra. So, like I said, Reiki could definitely you could benefit from having that done that would clear cleanse and open all your chakras i just see a lot of holding on to the pain painful memories that's what i'm hearing it's caused so many blockages inside of you you're completely traumatized from what you've been through this is just keeping you stuck and bound in the same pattern, the same routine. So like I said, you've been using work to block your emotions, but this has just ultimately made you sick. So you could feel sick in certain areas in your body too. And Reiki could clear that up for you, I'm hearing that too. Yeah, Queen of Wands, you know, you're quite powerful right now. You, you can achieve, you know, what you need to achieve. You do have protection from the Most High. And whoever this person is to, you're both protected. That's what I'm hearing. This person's just waiting for you to grow, to, to you know, to heal from whatever you've been through, whatever pain you're holding on to. I see animals in your energy field too. So you're definitely fully protected. You're definitely growing. I can see a sunflower here. You know, it's starting to grow. So you are doing some work, that's what I'm hearing. You know, if you work on your solar plexus chakra as well, you'll start to hear the messages from this person. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, like I said, you're not grounded. So, you know, learning how to ground yourself could help you. You know, even going into water could help you. So you could go swimming. That would help you to cleanse your aura. I also feel like, you know, a spiritual bath could help you 
but definitely meditating and grinding yourself will put you back in, you know, like a balanced mindset and a balanced, you know, mind, body and soul. That's what I'm hearing. You'll be able to hear this person talking to you telepathically and you'll be able to connect with God if you're grounded. Yeah, so like I said, you haven't heard this person's songs. You're not listening to your synchronicities. You know, you're not listening to anything. You're just holding on to this person who died. This is just blocking you from, you know, moving forward. It's keeping you stuck in one area, which is your work. That's what I'm hearing. No, so having the choice to kind of, you know, to work on your inner self will help you push through this pain and transmute the energy. So I've got the magician in reverse. Like I said, this person's sending a lot of, you know, stuff in your direction, a lot of music I'm hearing. A lot of signs are coming your way, but you haven't noticed and it's just the fact that you're not grounded. I feel like you could do with cleansing your energy. You could use, you know, Palo Santo. Or you could use sage, I'm hearing that, to cleanse your area, to cleanse your energy. You know, but I also feel like that you're going to have, you know, a happy family. That is your wishes are coming in after all this time you asked, you're going to receive. Yeah, the King of Pentacles, you are going to be the ultimate boss. You're going to be rich, you know, because you grounded yourself, you worked on your chakras, you opened, cleansed and activated your chakras, not to mention you healed your trauma. That's what I'm seeing here. You're going to elevate to, you know, King Boss status. I see a lot of money coming in for you when you've done this work and I also see love. Yeah, someone's attracted to you, someone's physically attracted to you and mentally that's what I'm hearing. This person has, you know, like a real pull towards you. I feel like your soul's you know, going to be pulled in this person's direction once you've done that inner work. Yes, yeah, so I've got the lovers and the star card. I feel like once you notice this person, you know, is attracted to you, is calling you in, you know, you're going to step into your power, but right now it's in reverse, so you haven't realised who they are. You don't know. I don't feel like you know the person, so they could be from overseas, I'm hearing that. You know, all of this grief is holding this person back from you. So, you know, you've got quite a lot of work to do, quite a lot of blockages you know I just keep hearing heart open your heart your heart's closed off since his death because you're going to be the star that's what I'm hearing you're coming into a time where you know everything you ever desired is coming true for you you're going to be someone well known very popular, that's what I'm hearing. You could be in the beauty industry, you could be, you know, 
beautiful. I'm hearing that too. I just see a lot of light being shone on you. So you're going to shine bright like a diamond. That's what I'm hearing. Once you've done this work, I also see another child coming into your energy. So you could have a baby with this new person. I just feel a strong sense of you dwelling on the past and moving forward will bring, you know, bring fame and fortune into your life. You're going to be the star. It's just so sad because, you know, you suffered so much trauma because you didn't know what happened. That's what I'm getting. I do see gifts coming in for you in love. I see a lot of gifts coming in for you. I see happiness in the future. And I do see you looking on the bright side of life again. Because you did the inner work. I see your soul starting to shine. So I'm going to ask for some clarity on the whole situation. Yeah, I've got the Two of Pentacles and I've got the Knight of Swords. So like I said, as soon as you stop juggling, as soon as you stop being busy, you know, you start to work on your chakras, you're going to see this person come flying into your life like magic. I feel like this person is rushing towards you as soon as they feel that pull coming back from you because you're all connected to this person this is a twin flame energy i'm hearing that too someone you've never met i just heard too someone you've never been in contact with this is a new person yeah it's just letting go letting go and starting to you know to elevate to that ascended master level that i already spoke about you're supposed to be an ascended master you're just being held back right now yeah so it's time to ground yourself it's time to you know, work on your chakras. It's time to heal from what you've been through so that you can move forward in a positive light and shine like the star that you are. And this is your message. So I hope this helps.